configuring the JDBC URL for Postgres is one of the places that most Jakarta EE, Spring Boot, and Java developers get messed up. So I just want to go over my configuration and show you how that applies to the JDBC URL. We're going to configure in just a moment. I've got a database called to do in my Postgres database, which is running on localhost port 5432. The schema is public and you notice there's no tables there. What I want to do now is I want to use JDBC to create a table called tasks under that public schema. A lot of times where people mess up is they don't include the schema. It's not always necessary, but when it is necessary, if you don't have it, you're in a lot of trouble. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a brand new Java class. I'm going to put it in the com.mcnz.sql package. I'll call it the postgresql example. And I'm going to have a main method. I'm going to get to the JDBC URL in just a moment. Don't you worry. The JDBC URL, I'm going to make it a static property. That's one of those properties that stick to your clothes when it comes out of the dryer. It'll be final. It'll be a string. It'll be called Jitipika URL. And this is what it looks like. Uh, of course, JDBC is the start. It could be ODBC, but why would it be ODBC? And from here, we want to indicate that it is post GRESQL, not Postgres, but PostgreSQL. Make sure the whole thing is there. We need the localhost colon 5432, not 210 liftoff, but 5432, and then slash the name of the database. So for me, that's the to-do database. I'm going to open this up a little bit because I'm going to need some more real estate. Now, I'm going to use a question mark as you do with a, a typical URL with some other database configurations. I've used semicolons, but those don't work as well with PostgreSQL. So you want the question mark there. And I'm going to say current schema equals public. Now, mine will work without that, um, but in some situations it's required. And the user, not username, is Postgres. It's got to be equals, not minus. Postgres. And the password, for me it's equal to password. Don't tell anybody. Password equals password. Let me see, can we fit that all on the screen right there? Static final string, JDBCA URL equals, and I'm just gonna go over this, make sure it's where JDBC PostgreSQL, localhost 5432 slash to do, question mark current schema equals public, and user equals Postgres, not username, and password equals password. Okay, that is the JDBC URL. I think I'm gonna remove the final decorator there just so that it all fits on the screen, right? Um, to tutorial, we don't need it to be constant. We probably don't even need it to be static, but um, gotta have some best practices here. Okay, so that's the URL. Let's prove that it works. In order to prove that it works, we need to connect to the database. So that means getting a connection, var connection equals driver manager dot get connection. And the connection is past that JDBCA URL. And then, I don't know, what else do we do after we've got a connection? We say var statement equals connection dot create statement that gives us a statement object and do you see that red x there the red x if you see red x you need to get your eyes checked because it's a white x on a red background but that's just saying that we need to throw the exception here okay we could put it a try catch block and be honest but being honest is overrated okay we've now got our statement object and at this point we can actually execute uh, the, the query against the database. And what is the query? Well, that'll be the create table statement. And what is that create table statement equal to? Okay, this is it here. I'm not an SQL expert, so I just copy and pasted this, but create table task, ID serial, primary key. I don't know why I'm not specifying the data type there, integer, but I don't know, apparently I don't have to with PostgreSQL. And the name is gonna be Varcher. So we've got a table called tasks in our to-do list. And each task has a primary key. Its name is ID of the primary key. And 
every record has a name and that's the thing that we have to do. That's our task, right? Learn Java, learn Mojo, master JDBC. Okay, and with that done, all we have to do is say statement.execute, pass in that SQL, look at autocorrect trying to do me dirty here by passing in the JDBC statement. That is not what I wanna do there. Okay, and that should create the table. I should be able to say system.out.println, table created, control S, and I think that looks good. Now the question is, will it work? Will it run? So I'm gonna say run as a Java application, keep my fingers crossed, and boom, it says table created. Now, of course, I'm from Missouri. I wanna be shown, so I'm gonna come over here Look under tables, there's nothing there, it didn't work. Oh, I just gotta do a refresh. And there we are, that tasks table. And it looks like that task table. Well, it does specify that it is an integer in there, name is character. So all of that stuff that I wrote got translated into proper PostgreSQL, SQL. But I have to say, I'm pretty happy with that. I've now got my JDBC URL configured. I'm able to connect to the database I'm able to do a query and boom, my JDBC application is working. Next thing to do, just get the CRUD operations going and then we can put a fork in this thing and say our JDBC tutorial with PostgreSQL is done, but stick around for those CRUD operations. Okay, I'm doing just a very quick interruption here. A couple of things, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm hates me for some reason right now. If you're enjoying this video, if you could like, subscribe, and even leave a comment, I would really love to hear from you and, and find out if you've enjoyed this. It'll also help wake up the YouTube algorithm and maybe give my, my channel and my videos a little bit more exposure. So I would really appreciate that. The other thing too is I got a new copy of Hibernate Made Easy coming out, the best-selling book. I've updated it for version seven of Hibernate. So if you're into JPA, Spring Data, Spring JDBC, uh, please sign up for my mailing list. You don't have to buy it, but uh, I'll be raffling off some free copies for members of my newsletter. Um, and I'll also be making uh, chapters available through the newsletter as well. So sign up for that. There's a link in the description. And finally, I helped out with some final edits on Darcy DeClute Scrum Master Certification Guide. So if you're agile and you're working with Scrum and you're interested in getting Scrum Master certified, a lot of people have been using this book to score 100% on the product owner and Scrum Master exam. So it's available on Amazon. Go pick that up. Uh, I know Darcy would be very happy if you did. Okay, that's it. I'm really sorry to, to bother you. Let's get back into the coding.